All right, time is up. Awesome, awesome. So does anyone have any sort of textures that they want to share that they found that were particularly cool in their rooms? If you want to, you can go ahead and hold it up to the screen and you can unmute yourself and talk about it and what it is. Yeah, I've got one. I've got a, there's a cool plant pot that I've always liked and uh, it's kind of hard to see, but it's got some like holes in it that make it kind of look cool. It kind of looks like wavy the texture makes it look like. So I thought that That's was pretty awesome. sweet. I actually also went ahead and grabbed my Lucky Bamboo and the pot has some really cool leaf texture on it. And I went ahead and, oh, which one is that one? That one is this texture that I have. It's, it is kind of hard to see on camera and everything, but I went over to an oil painting that I have in my living room and went ahead and went over that and it created some really interesting little textures. It almost looks like a map in my opinion. But does anyone else have any other textures that they want to share? or any sort of surfaces that they tried to transfer the texture to that they thought would be interesting and all of a sudden it's like, this is really boring. <laughs> I did the keyboard and it actually like did the letters and everything. Oh, that's I awesome. I don't know if you can actually see it. We can kind of see it, yeah. That's awesome. Nice job. All right, so now we've kind of looked in our environment for different textures. Now I want you guys to think about your environment around you. So I want you to, we're gonna take another, however much time we need, but the maximum is five minutes. Um, we are going to look around our rooms that we're sitting and zooming in. Um, and I want you to write down at least six different textures that you see in your environment. So this could be anything from, feeling this little pot that I have. It's very smooth on some parts and it has small ridges and everything, which makes it kind of bumpy. So those are all different texture terms that we can use, but go ahead, take a few minutes. I'll set a timer and we're going to try and come up with at least six different textures that we see in the rooms around us. Go ahead and start. All right, it's been about two minutes. Does everyone have at least six different textures from their rooms that they're in? Go ahead and give me a thumbs up on your screen if you're ready. Awesome. All right, it looks like everybody. Would anybody like to tell me about some of the textures that they found in their rooms? Could I count like, Oh, like alive being a texture like it feels alive I guess or is that not really I think that's a really good way to 
describes something is that it's alive because alive is implying that it has kinetic energy and it has a movement to it. So yeah, I would say that looks okay. pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I just have some like I felt a snake plant, for instance, and it just like feels like like it's alive. And then yeah. um I have a rubber tree plant too. And then that just feels rubbery. So yeah. Um, yeah. That's just feeling some plants. Yeah, I have about 50 plants in my apartment, so I definitely know each of them have all these different weird textures to them. So that's a really yeah. great way to observe your environment textures. Awesome. Does anyone else want to share? All right, I'll go ahead and share one of mine. I described one of the textures I have as woven. So I have a plant pot behind me that's holding my aloe vera. I don't know if you guys can see him, he's like really stretched out over there. But the pot that it's in kind of has like a woven basket pattern on it. So that was one of the textures I thought was kind of particularly cool. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the, our next bit. We're gonna do a little exercise where we describe, where think, go ahead and unmute your mics. You guys are gonna be doing some collaborative work. Go ahead and describe these following images that are on the screen. We'll start with the one that's up here on the left-hand side. So go ahead and discuss among yourselves. What do you see here? Uh, I would say that one looks uh, woody. Like it looks like it's part of a tree almost. But then we're not seeing much color, so it could be a rock. Yeah, Whoa. very good. It looks rough. Yes. Yeah, rigid. Rough, rigid, very good. All right, anything else? It doesn't have to be just the image that you're seeing in the foreground. It could also be stuff that you might see in the background of the image. Uh, I'd say it looks like a forest in the background. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, so let's look at this second image. Soft. Soft, yes. Any other kind of textures that you see other than just the softness? Hairy. Hairy, yes, that's a great descriptor. Possibly wiry, depending on the texture of the actual fur. Yes, very, very good. I was looking for wiry or coarse as well. Awesome observation. We got well, I any other? I was going to say it was floppy. It looks what? Floppy, like their ears. Dog's ears are usually like kind of floppy. Yeah. It's not the focus of it, but like dogs' noses are wet, right? So, and I can clearly see its nose. So it might might be wet. That might be one. Yes, absolutely. That was really awesome, guys. I can confirm that her fur is very soft. That is my dog. She's very cute. Um, but yeah, all of those are really great ways to describe what's going on in that image. So for your exit ticket today, to make sure that we're really understanding a lot of our textures, I'm going to go ahead and send you a Google Doc. Um, and we are going to or excuse me, you guys are going to describe your favorite animal, naming at least four different textures that you would find on that animal, but you aren't allowed to tell me what that animal is. So I'll go ahead and stop sharing my screen. Go and copy that Google Doc real quick. And into the chat. Perfect. And once you fill that out, you are welcome to, I think up in the upper right hand corner, you can click share and you can share it with um, my email that I listed on the exit ticket. And if it is saying that you have to request access, you can go ahead and hit file and then make a copy and then email it to me that way. And once you guys are done with that activity, you are free to go.